Okay guys, so today I'm just going to show you um, how to dissect the basic Briggs & Stratton carburetor. Um, <clears throat> and I also want to show you the parts of the carburetor. Um, I would show you a carburetor clean, but I actually don't need to clean this carburetor right now. So I'm going to um, wait. And basically all you do to clean your carburetor is to get some carburetor cleaner and a uh, rag and you just clean out the inside and you clean all these pieces that I'm showing you and try to remove all the dirt. You can also get like a wire brush and pull out a wire strand and run it up and down the uh, jet ports. So to get started this is just your basic um, Briggs & Stratton carburetor. It came off a horizontal um, 12 horsepower lawnmower um, uh, to show you basically this is the bowl the fuel comes in through this gas line right here this is a shut off valve comes in through here comes into your bowl there's a float in here that rises and so now I'm going to open that bowl and show you all so what you do is this is a jet screw and you basically just unscrew it I have um, pre-loosened all these parts so it would make it a little bit faster Sometimes these parts will be rusted together if they're old, and so just be careful with that. Sometimes you have to uh, use penetrating oil and let it sit overnight, so there's no really no rush. As you can see, there's a little jet there. You'd want to get your carburetor cleaner and a rag and just clean all that dirt off the tip there. Okay, next is another one. This is 12 millimeters. Like I said, I've already pre-leasened all this. This is just a locking nut. Next is a half inch um, nut that holds the bowl on itself. That's a half inch. And it also has the threads on top of it and threads underneath it. Okay, so there's the hole in your bowl. So you take that off. And as you can see, I've never opened this carburetor before or cleaned it. So you can see there that all the rust has eaten away in the bowl from sitting over time. Um, this is your float, like I was saying. Okay. And so to take all this apart right here, you will need a pair of needle nose pliers. And what you do is there's a pin right here that slides through the bowl and through the uh, float and basically you just pull it out it's about like that and then your float should come right out and as you can see on the end there that's a needle so the needle what it does is as the float's moving up and down it goes in this hole right here as the float, it moves with the float. So as it goes up, it goes up, and as it goes down, and that's where your fuel comes in. And so, as as the as it's actually like this. So as the f fuel comes into the bowl, it pushes the needle up, closing the hole to where gas cannot get in and it doesn't flood your carburetor. Okay. So you, this is something you want to clean just to make that's getting a solid connection there, and you're not having any leaks. And that's your needle. Okay, and also you can see here ports, and you can see the uh, rust that's eaten at it over time. But, um, yeah, you would want to get a wire and run it through all these little ports here and clean that out. Use your carburetor cleaner. Um, all these little spring activated things right here, this is your throttle. You um, have the screw right here that you can adjust you can adjust it like by turning this to show how into um, there's a plate right here where that screw touches that plate and when it touches that that's as far as the throttle will go so if you want more power in your engine you can unscrew that and take the screw out and it will have full throttle um, right here you can put a wire in and connect it to a throttle like a twist grip for a motorcycle and that's how you would throttle it. Um, right here this is your choke. This would go up to something else like a lever 
and uh, I don't know if you can see it in there but there's a little plate and that shuts off the air and it's spring loaded and this is where your air comes in your air cleaner sits on top of this and last but not least you have um, this jet right here so I'll just take that out for you let you see it and you do have to be careful when loosening this because it does have a spring on it you got to be careful that it doesn't shoot out and you get lost so as you see there that's a needle um, that sticks into the carburetor and it as you um, either tighten or loosen it once you tighten it it goes into the carburetor further and limits the amount of fuel that is released into the cylinder so you can adjust how rich you want your engine to run and all of that by this screw that's your um, jet screw and now you do have more than one sometimes this is one right here this is a long one there's one sometimes you have three or four um, the last thing I want to show you guys today is this this is where the fuel comes in like I said it comes in through this hole right here so you have a fuel line it comes in and it's right here um, and this is just your basic shut off valve and what you do I've already loosened this and what this does right here is you can tighten it and as you tighten this right here it pushes into it pushes into this shutting off the fuel from coming in so when you uh, winterize your mower or if you're done for it for the day from mowing your yard all you have to do is tighten that and then when you go to crank it again you loosen it and choke the engine again like I said right here shut off the air okay and so to clean the carburetor you basically want to clean all these parts right here with the carburetor uh, cleaner and like I forgot to mention this ball right here you can shake it up against your ear and if you hear fuel in there then you need to replace that it's no good anymore but those are only those aren't very expensive you can get those at Napa and um, sometimes you can look on your carburetor and it'll have uh, words written on it like that says choke right there so I know that this right here uh, is the choke okay so that's just your basic carburetor and uh, I hope you learned something today and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.